when he died, he simply collapsed and said, I am finished. <laughs> and when I told this story, somebody callously just remarked, well, another conjecture of mine I was <laughs> Erdos was undoubtedly a genius. He published his first paper in his freshman year, and when he graduated three years later, he has already written his PhD thesis. During his academic career, Erdos published nearly 1500 papers, which is arguably an all-time record for mathematicians. And it is natural to wonder how one man could stay so productive throughout his life. Erdos has a famous quote. Mathematician is a machine which turns coffee into theorems. And for him this was not a joke, but a sad reality. A few days before Paul was born, his two sisters, aged three and five, died of scarlet fever. His mother became very protective of her only child left, and Erdos grew up attached to his loving mother. When she died, Erdos developed a deep depression and he was eventually prescribed to take drugs such as benzedrine and ritalin, which come from the amphetamine group. Erdos never gave up on these drugs, as well as espresso shots and caffeine pills. He was insanely productive. Even in his 70s, he had years when almost 50 papers which he wrote or co-wrote with somebody else were published. Here I am scrolling through his publications sorted out by year. 1988. Erdos is 73 years old, 37 papers published, and next year he had 40 papers. In fact, Erdos is also a record holder when it comes to collaborations. Nearly 500 people have at least one paper written together with Erdos. This has motivated the introduction of Erdos number. Erdos himself had this number equal to zero. Anyone who co-wrote a paper with him has this number equal to one. Anybody who wrote a paper with someone who wrote a paper with Erdos has it equal to two and so on. And this is the current distribution of all Erdos numbers. What kind of distribution is it? Leave your suggestions in the comments. But could it be that Erdos's success in his later years was mostly due to his drug consumption? In 1979, Ronald Graham, Erdos's close friend, challenged a then 66-year-old Erdos to give up drugs for just one month. The $500 bet was accepted and Erdos won. Here's what he had to say after the victory. You've showed me I'm not an addict but I didn't get any work done. I'd get up in the morning and stare at a blank piece of paper. I'd have no ideas, just like an ordinary person. You've set mathematics back a month. Erdos has countless conjectures, theorems and problems named after him, and it is impossible to accomplish so much without pure talent and hard work. Here is a story which one of his contemporaries recalls. In 1976 we were having coffee in the mathematics lounge at Texas A&M. There was a problem on the blackboard in functional analysis, a field Erdos knew nothing about. I happened to know that two analysts had just come up with a 30-page solution to the problem and were extremely proud of it. Erdos looked up at the board and said, what's that? Is it a problem? I said yes, and he went up to the board and squinted at the tersely written statement. He asked a few questions about what the symbols represented, and then he effortlessly wrote down a two-line solution. If that's not magic, what is? <laughs>